Okay, we're here with Kelly Flood, 75th District uh, State House candidate, and uh, rep uh, I should say soon to be Representative Flood. You kicked off your campaign tonight, and um, why don't you, you enunciated uh, there very well why you were running. Why don't you tell the Blue Grassroots community what it is, what issues motivate you, and why now? Yes, thank you for this opportunity, too. Sure. I was called by a dear friend of mine, Deborah Hensley, who cares passionately about uh, voice in this district. Historically, the 75th district has served as the conscience of the House, from Kathy Stein, Ernesto Scorsoni before her, where you have to be willing to demonstrate courage, political will, and the ability to forge working alliances that get the job done. So it's not just being willing to stand up for issues of fairness, for issues of um, opportunity and, and justice making, but you also know, have to know how to build alliances that help get legislation through that uh, protects the basic fundamental human rights and as well as the, um, the goodness that we want to see in this state. Mm -hmm. Now you're a minister, is that correct? I am. I'm an ordained minister with the Unitarian Universalist Association. Great. I currently, though, and for the last eight years have served as the vice president for advancement, which is a big word for fundraising, okay. for a seminary. Okay. And um, will you talk um, about the intersection between faith and politics for you personally? Yes. Faith and politics. It's critical that, of course, we keep the state and religion separate. That's a fundamental belief of Unitarian Universalism, and it's something I believe greatly in myself. At the same time, as somebody who has felt called to serve the larger good for most of my adult life, this opportunity to serve in the 75th District is, if you will, an extension of that work in public service. Mm -hmm. So I am personally saying yes to this uh, invitation to represent the Democratic Party and run as a candidate out of my deep desire to make a better world for my son, for all the children of Kentucky, for this state that's come to mean a great deal to me that I now call home. Great. And uh, we're about two months out from Election Day. What is the, uh, what's the plan for the flood campaign? What's the path to victory? The strategy to win. Yes. It's a personal touch. We have taken the 31 precincts. We've identified those that have high voter turnout, but perhaps may need to meet somebody with a progressive attitude and uh, perspective in person. So we don't assume that um, those districts where there is more of a blend of independent voters, Democratic and Republican voters, will be going into those precincts frequently. Those precincts that also have high voter turnout, what we're calling moderate or light touch, where Democrats tend to vote, they still need to, though, meet the candidate. Many people are disappointed that Kathy won't be their representative, even though they're glad she's moving on to be a senator. They need to make sure they know who I am, that I will represent with courage and tenacity the same values that she represented. And so I'm going to be getting out and meeting people face to face. Also, doing the appropriate amount of fundraising to run a professional and responsible campaign. Mm -hmm. So we're doing uh, well on all fronts, and we just had our kickoff of 50 volunteers here tonight. We're excited. Great. Well, thanks for uh, sitting down with us, and we'll be tracking your progress as, as we get closer to the election. Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you.